So, you want to know how to use WooFu to create an online form. Let's help you do it. First, you're going to want to go to WooFu.com. That's W-U-F-O-O.com. When you get here, log in if you have an account. If you haven't set up an account yet, sign up for free. As you log into WooFu, you will come to the WooFu Form Manager. To start, select New Form. From the screen that comes up, you're seeing your untitled form. Let's start first with our form settings. Select Form Settings and name your form. Maybe you are creating a foreclosure hot sheet as your form. Change your description of your form to read as you would like to see. Please fill in this form and we will send you a copy of the foreclosure hot sheet in Seattle. As you scroll down, you can see you can confirm or redirect to a website when they finished filling in the form. So if you would like to send them to your website, all you'll have to do is select. You also have the option to put a CAPTCHA. Now what is that you ask? That's those two words you see at the bottom of some of those forms that are hard to read and figure out exactly what they say, but it helps you make sure you're not having a computer fill in your form all day long. Now we'll jump back to our add a field and get started creating our form. We'll create a simple form here today. We're going to ask them for their name. We're going to ask them for their address. And all you need to do is click on what you are looking to add to the form. We'll ask for their email. And while we're at it, let's ask for their phone number you can see each one has been added to our form and with a simple click and drag we can move the order of things on our form. We could delete things off our form if we've changed our mind. You can see by selecting one of the fields in the form we've moved to our field settings. All you need to do now is fill in any changes you want to make. Do you want to change the email label and say your best email address? Then just type that in. Do you want it to be larger so they have more space to type? Do you want it to be small so they don't have much space to type at all? Do you want to make it required? Notice the red star that shows up that we all see on the forms knowing that this is required information. Do you want a predefined value? Do you want to fill this in already with your email at somewebsite.com? Anything that you want to put in. Do you want to give instructions? Please enter your best email address. You can do this for every field their name, the address, whatever it is that you would like to add to your form and whatever you would like to change. When you have the form looking how you would like it to look, just save form. It's that simple. We've just saved a form. You can continue editing the form if you want to change things. You can set up email notifications so it alerts you with a specific message when the form is filled out and emailed to you. Let's follow that step for a moment. So clicking on number two opens up this screen. What email address do you want it sent to when you receive someone filling out your form? Do you want a reply set to them? And you can customize your notification email. So clicking on customize your notification email you will see 
what the subject line is going to be. So you can make it clear to you that this is a lead or someone filling out your form. Do you want to have a text message? Just fill in the proper form. When you're done with all this, you will end up back on your home screen. Now you can see the form listed right here. You can see who's filled it out. You can edit your form. You can check the notifications. Accepting payment. What we want to look at right now is the code for the form. Clicking on the code button will give you the information you need to post this in an email and send your form to people. Maybe you want to put it in your signature file or to use it as an HTML link on a web page. Where you're going to post these, how you're going to use these to be the most successful, well that's the information we'll share with you in the Internet Marketing Specialist designation program. Now you know how to use WooFoo to create a simple email form. Congratulations!